there, this is Tiffany from the Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L Design Team, and I have a fun 3D project to share with you today. I'll be using a few of my favorite adhesives that are super strong and substantial enough to hold together this cool die. So let's begin. For today's tutorial, our main adhesives that we'll be using is the Crafty Power Tape, the adhesive sheets in 12 by 12 permanent, and the Easy Dots Mini Repositionable Adhesive. All the other supplies that we'll be using include this Sizzix Watering Can 3D Scoreboards Excel die. You'll need two extended cutting pads for that, which look like this. I've chosen to use some My Mind's Eye All Things Chalk Record It 6x6 paper, basic gray highline 6x6 paper, some whipped spackle, a palette knife or a spatula, some various glitters. I have also have my daughter's name die cut to act as a stencil and I just used Lawn Fawn's Kohl's ABC dies. They're pretty small, they look like that. They fit perfectly onto the wiring can. And then for embellishments, I'll be using these 3D foam butterflies and these My Mind's Eye enamel dots, which are awesome. So let's begin. So here are the cuts that you'll need to make this project. I have the watering can die cut I used my Sizzix Little Sizzles mat board. You can use whatever mat board that you have on hand, or you can use um, stacks of patterned paper, three to five, to make this a bit stronger and sturdier. And then I have my patterned paper die cut, and I have it trimmed. So I trimmed up the base on this so I could stick it on this side, and this one will go on that side. And then I have the sides trimmed up so I can adhere this just to the part of the side that will be showing. So I have two of the sides and then I have two of the watering cans. So this is what the 12 by 12 adhesive sheet looks like when it's all rolled out. It's large enough so that you can put adhesive on many different die cuts and that's why I like to use it um, versus the smaller sheets. So you just follow the directions. And now you can save the rest of the sheet for a different project. Before we assemble the project, you want to add your name or your monogram through your stencil using the whip spackle. And the best way to do this is by using this Easy Dots Mini Repositionable Adhesive. I'm using the Mini because I'm filming a video and it's just easier to, um, to deal with, but it also comes in the My Stick Adhesive, which is refillable. There you go. And now you just let it dry and then you can just rub off the little bits of adhesive. Once it's dry, you can go ahead and start um, assembling the project. And for that, we're going to use the Crafty Power Tape. We're going to take our two sides and apply the tape onto each tab. There are four tabs. So a couple tips when you apply your Crafty Power Tape. This new dispenser has the adhesive completely flush with the right side of the tape. So that way and you can see that it's a quarter inch thick so that just gives you a good idea when you're dealing with these tabs and it also tears easily so you can use the dispenser to rip it or you can just use your fingers to tear it 
Make sure you burnish it really well to the tabs or to whatever project you're applying it to. And now you can just remove the tabs and remove that sticky back sheet. So now we can keep, we can create some cute little embellishments. These are the 3D butterflies, 3D foam butterflies. And all you have to do when you want to decorate these is take off that nonstick sheet and apply whatever medium you want to. I'm going to use glitter. And then just rub it in lightly with your finger. Tap it. And then you just kind of bend the sheet to remove the butterfly. Like that. And because it's a double sided, you can just go ahead and stick it onto your project. Like that. So now just finish up and embellish. So once you're done adding some quick embellishments with those 3D foam butterflies, you can just go ahead and fill it with whatever. It would make a really cute party favor. I'm going to be using it as an activity for my kids, so I'll make one for each of them. I'm just going to include a little gardening tool and a little thing of seeds like that. It holds quite a bit. The, the base is a bit thicker than the top. But there you go. Again, this was Tiffany from the Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L Design Team, here to show you how to create a quick 3D project. Thanks for watching.